vlog time. Vlog time, new time. Um, so we're what mid January now. Um, got some pretty cool stuff that we that we launched in video wise for Christmas. But we have a lot of events coming up. King of the Hammers coming up. Uh, I think we're gonna go to Glamis at least twice in February is the plan. Um, but we've been busy, so we've been working on a lot of different things. So haven't really had a chance to vlog everything. Um, but today we'll show you some stuff that we've been working on. So today we'll we'll show the show two projects. We got a race car project that we're working on. Um, a full makeover for 2022 for this person, this race team. Um, we finished up a bunch of fuel stuff, which you guys saw in the last video, and we just were finished. We finished uh, X3 for uh, fuel also, so we'll show you guys that. What we did, the color change, the color, and then a full walk around with that too. Um, we got some other products that we can't show you, but maybe in the next video we'll be able to show you guys. And then we're working on a race car and some stuff for the Talon too. So Honda Talon, I know some. Some of you guys are Honda Talon owner, owners out there, so we got that coming too. Um, but also see what you guys wanna, want us to show you because we have trips planned. Uh, we're doing a lot more in the shop kind of stuff too. But um, comment down in the section below because we wanna see what you guys want us to show you. Also something too that we talked to, I talked to Walker Evans yesterday, um, building a set of shocks because the drift car is capable of going off-road it's not just a drift car so we can put shocks on it and put wheels and tires on it and take it off-road take it to the desert take it to the dunes wherever we want to go because it's not limited to it just being a drift car because a lot of people are like oh that's cool but they think all right it's a drift car and there's nothing you can do with it now so we're gonna we got a set of shocks coming for it that we'll put on it and then we're gonna do a time lapse and and show how much time it takes to put the shocks on and then take it off-roading. So not only do you have a, a drift car that's more than capable, but then you have still have a play car. So you're essentially buying two cars in one and they're more than capable in both categories because the sway bar is set up for drifting, the shocks are set up for, for drifting, but we take that off, put a set of shocks on it that's made for that suspension to go off-road and you have kind of best of both worlds. So um, we have that coming. So stay tuned for that video too, because I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, and we, what else we got? You're not supposed to say that on camera. That's between us, our secret. So we got some new stuff we're working on before uh, Josh interrupts me. <laughs> um, so we have some new stuff. Um, some stuff that we want to offer you guys, um, nothing crazy, but I don't know if you see here, it's got some cool color changing um, film. So it's kind of darker chrome, if you will. Some pink goes to some cool stuff there. And this has like a crackle, crackle finish kind of look. Um, this stuff, and we're gonna have different designs, different stickers, uh, different finishes, but all this, like you can actually get here when you come to our shop. So you can't get this anywhere else. Um, something that we wanted to do for customers. They always ask for some stickers and stuff, but if you see this on a car, see this um, anywhere, you'll know that you got it here at the shop. So something kind of cool. Um, we also are working on some new hats. This is a standard Yupong hat that we have on our website, but we actually have a new patch coming. So the patch will be going here and then we're gonna so that's gonna take place of the patch up there and then we're gonna have a gold PL here. So that'll be on the store shortly, um, as well as this hat. I don't know if you could see the difference, but um, it's kind of like a dry fit kind of texture. So kind of cool. And this will have the same gold patch with a gold PL on the side. So something else coming in the store here, sh here, here soon. So I think we're gonna have them the first week of February. So stay tuned for that because you guys will be able to buy it online. I want to make sure. I want. To, I know it's waterproof. Let me see. Does it say on the interior? I can feel it. Polyester, spandex. One size fits most. No, I'm just kidding. It's all. It's made in Bangladesh. Does it count? I'm sure it's Bangladesh. It doesn't say anything thing. about waterproof. I guarantee you. If I pour some water on there, it's gonna just run right off. 
Just not, I'm not talking about drench it, but. Alright, try it. We gotta, you gotta, hold on, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you wanna do it? You wanna film do this. It. Yeah, I'm filming it right now, aren't I? Okay. It's recording. I so Josh that. wants to see if this is waterproof. I mean, it feels it's waterproof. Like, uh, Resistant. Oh, sorry, water resistant. Yeah. So, what does that mean? Is it gonna splash off a little bit? It's just gonna. It's like a ceramic coat. It's just right off. So now we're ceramic coating hats. Okay. So <laughs> if I have a big, big water spot on my hat on the next <laughs> shot, it's because of Josh. So we're about to find out. You should be re double recording this because it could be really bad. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Whatever you are. Okay. You recording? Yeah. All right. Dude, this thing. <laughs> dude, just soaked it up. Oh no. Oh, uh, you're good. <laughs> what, you pour so much on this? Well, how else are you going to tell if it's water resistant or not? Wait, <laughs> you, you pour a little drop. You can kind of see it. Dude, it dried already. No, nah, it's still there. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna have to trim the bike now. you to put a little bit on there. <laughs> you pour it half the Yeah, water well, water. if it's water, no, nah, it's definitely not water resistant. So these hats are not water resistant. <laughs> So, definitely don't try that at home. It'll dry. <laughs> as long as your backwash is not in there, it's gonna stain my hat. Uh, whatever. <laughs> All right, we're gonna show you guys uh, the shop here that we redid the whole entire floor. So we wanted to keep the back of the shop clean. And so we had the floors all ground down and did an epoxy coating. Um, the epoxy coating is cool because there's different colors, but we decided to go with this texture flooring. Uh, so you can see it for here. So it's like a gray, a light gray, and a black color, uh, which is cool. It gives the shop kind of a bigger look. Um, but with this coating and floor, we can actually go back and mop everything, keep that clean. Um, that's something that's important when we're wrapping and actually doing clear bras and stuff like that. So to keep the dust down and keep everything clean. So um, that's a big change for us here as far as visually. I mean, we keep everything clean in the production room, but back here in the shop, made a big big change a big difference so uh, that's that's new back here Repeat that. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Bro. Uh, we're still recording. We're still live. So we had a little mic failure, but uh, we're good. So so we finished up this KM X3 for fuel off road. Uh, complete it with this cool silver metallic finish. So we actually, the whole front half of the vehicle is all our kit. Um, so that's all pre cut. So we're not cutting on the vehicle. We kind of emphasize that enough because it's an important thing for what we do an important thing for the industry because a lot of the guys will have a big sheet and they'll cut on your vehicle so now you have big cut marks when you take it off so you don't really see that kind of stuff until you remove it and that's something that we want to express why to come here why to come to proline um, because we actually do that we have everything pre-cut so we're not cutting on the actual car so going to the back fender on x3 is a little different than a raise or anything like that uh, some of the pieces are painted some of them aren't so the back fender on this car was all white so we actually went ahead and wrapped this entire back fender to be the silver here with that metallic finish that way there's no existing color coming through so that is an option that we provide it doesn't always have to be a kit but we know how to do that on the back fender and eliminate the existing stock color so that's a, a big plus for this car because you'll have white coming through and nobody wants to see white coming through on a car like this so um, this car was built by S3 Power Sports here and we got it shipped to us. So as you can see up here in the front, uh, we did the entire silver gray color if you will, onto the roof. Um, so all this here is a kit like I was explaining earlier. So that's pre-cut. Um, this black plastic that comes standard on it's X3 is all pre-cut up there. Same thing down here. This is all black rough plastic. Um, that's all pre-cut there to go with the gray. So we went with this kind of cool metallic gray finish. 
So the gray is cool there and it has like a Nardo ghost gray color if you will. Everybody names it something different. But um, it gives it a cool contrast so it's kind of kind of seeing the light there. And as you go back, when the light hits on the top, top half section up there, it kind of, uh, you almost lose the color in a good way. And that's something that they wanted. They want something that's does it stands out enough for photos and, and that kind of thing, which it does, but also is more of a muted, um, you know, tone on tone color, if you will. So that's kind of cool there. So same thing on the other side, but this color is actually pretty cool. I like that metallic look. I don't know if you can see all of it there, but uh, there's the whole car.